Hi all, this is Max from zeomax.com. Uh, today I've got the uh, inst installation instruction on how to install a solid state drive. Um, <clears throat> you can also install it on a desktop, but the reason why I actually got it is my lovely Asus UL VT X1 uh, hard, hard disk died. Uh, all of a sudden, it was all slowing down. And I know, I think I don't have warranty. Even if I had warranty, I didn't want to put another crappy drive because I'm trying to do a lot of video editing. So I heard that the solid state drive is really fast. So this is actually my first solid state drive. So we're gonna, let's open it up first. And then, uh, are we still recording? There we go. And then we'll go, uh, we'll go install it. I know that one other guy on YouTube, I forgot his name. Um, oh, Buffalo, Techno Buffalo. He was the one who suggested me to get an X25. Um, anyway, he put it on, he had my, uh, the same laptop as I did. So, kind of a unboxing video. I'm not really an expert at this, but. It looks pretty easy. All you have to do is screw it in. So that's the solid state drive. And uh, I'm gonna put it aside here. And it also comes with a bunch of crap. <laughs> no, just kidding. There's a desktop version uh, you can use, which is kind of cool. If this is fast enough, I might get it for my desktop later, but man, I don't wanna spend any more money. I spent, last year I spent like so much, all my money on gadgets, this year I'm broke. Oh yeah, take your battery out. Probably a good idea. So it doesn't. No. There we go. And then let's try to do this as quickly as possible so we don't have to waste. Um, so I think this is the hard disk. The way you can tell is usually they have a mark. There we go. There's a small hard disk mark there. And then you can tell most of the memory they have a little vents. So I haven't done videos in a while because once I stop doing videos, I just don't want to do it anymore. But uh, once I start doing it, I might go crazy and then people are like, stop uploading videos. I'm like, whatever. Anyway, uh, for this, usually it should just slip out. There you go. So that's the old Seagate 500 gigabyte that died on me suddenly. Good thing I lost some photos, but I have it. I have most of my stuff backed up. Um, and then we can use these brackets right here because they're the same size. So let's do this as quickly as possible. Oh god. Okay, let me get another screwdriver. So hopefully I'll be moving soon to a new home, um, which is gonna be cool. That way I can actually do, you know, do more DIYs and stuff. Sorry. Messing up here. here we go. Is that gonna work? Okay, this thing's just really stuck there. So I'm just gonna have to use all my force. Or, uh, hmm. Okay, I'll be back. I'm gonna get a right screwdriver. So I finally got it working. Uh, out, I got one of these bigger, you know, screwdrivers, and then got it off, and then should come off easily. Here we go. Put that away. Here we go. Once I move to a new house, I should be able to do more DIY videos. I just have no room in my home or apartment right now. It just, everything's crazy. That's why it's kind of messy. Not because I'm messy, but there's a lot of, a lot of things. So just make sure to uh, do it in the same location, I think, right? Um, yeah, so just pull it out and then we're gonna push this in and voila. And we'll put the screws back. And uh, I think that's 
pretty much it. It's, it took me like, what, a minute? And the SSD drive is supposed to, you know, make your, um, make your battery last longer on your laptop because it requires less bat uh, power. As you can see, there's no, not even, uh, well, no, that's for desktop, I think. Anyway, this will be my first solid state drive. And one of the problems I had with my U Asus ULVT was that when I do uh, actually render videos, like such as this one I'm doing right now, it would take, it, I mean, it can do it, just when I open up like Adobe Premiere, it would just slow down like how loading the uh, videos. But uh, this is supposed to be like super, super fast. So I might be able to start editing my videos a lot quicker. If it does, I might replace my desktop too because that's the bottleneck in video editing or anything. Uh, I've been actually looking into, uh, for my website, getting these, uh, what, what are those things? Oh, so let's do this first. Uh, make sure it's aligned and just kind of push it in there. Ah, yeah. And then we're gonna put the cover back on. I think that's it, right? Perfect. Let's, um, making a how-to, but <clears throat> this is my first one, also my first SSD SSD drive. I've done a lot harder ones, like on the old Mac. I actually have a YouTube video of me taking like the whole MacBook apart to put in the uh, the hard disk. I think they still have to do that on the new Macs, which kind of, that's why I kind of stay awake from Macs. Plus, you know, I'm more of a, not a PC guy, but just, I just like, I just like tinkering with stuff, you know, and Mac is just for people who don't know how to, you know, um, well, maybe not, maybe not like that, but I'm just saying, for me, I like Linux and Windows better, especially after Windows 7 came out. You know, they actually did a surprisingly good job of doing their OS. Oh god, what's wrong with this thing? Okay, I got it. I don't know why. Okay, alright. Forum's gonna get bigger now. It's gonna be cool. So that's it. So let me put the battery back in, and uh, let me see if it boots up. And also, I have this this uh, ULVT does not have a uh, hard no disk drive, uh, which means you need to actually um, use a flash drive. If you don't know how to do that, I have I'll have links below on this uh, YouTube video because I have a blog post about it and you can read about it so hopefully it will boot up before it didn't even boot up so so I think it's actually trying to look for a DHCP for some reason because it couldn't find my other artist let me turn it off and try that again come on so. I don't know why, but it's looking for a uh, Ethernet. I think it's trying to boot up in the Ethernet. I hate that that happens. Just listen. Just I use. I am the commander. Do as I say. There we go. So I got into the menu somehow. Um, so let's just check our. Uh, Hard disk, yes, it's uh, uh, recognized. So it's not gonna boot. That's why it's trying to get into that network mode uh, because it's an empty drive. So I'm gonna go install it with my USB flash, and uh, you know I have a I have a blog post about it. So if you don't know how to do that, 
Um, good luck, and uh, I'll be back after this. Hi, all folks. So I just booted up the uh, my new Windows. I installed it, my new one. So let's see how long it takes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. About about fifteen seconds. Sixteen. What happened? Yeah, maybe twenty seconds. Let me enter my password here. Do -do -do. So it boots up really quick. As you can see, everything loads really fast. Um, anyway, I'll have further analysis of this uh, uh, SSD, SSD drive after I use it for video editing. That's what I wanted to use it for, and it's you know notice noticeably faster than my other laptop, which has an Intel Core i7. That means I can just take my you know smaller laptop everywhere instead of my big laptop. So I'm not sure. I think it's going to be much better but I don't know how much it's gonna be better anyway that's how you install SSD drive sorry if I've been mumbling by myself but uh, that's how you install it it's really easy just get a screwdriver um, for most laptops it should be easy. most of the newer laptops anyway subscribe I'll have more fun videos of uh, me doing stuff so see y'all later thanks a lot